Welcome to this Stellarex tutorial where you will learn how to convert a FBX object into a GLTF to be able to use it in Stellarex. To do so I will walk you through seven short and easy steps using Blender which is a free and open source 3D creation suite that we recommend for this type of conversion. First of all you must create a new scene in Blender. Then you will see that three objects appear by default, a camera, a cube, and a light. To prepare the asset conversion, you must delete these objects to avoid exporting them later in the process. To delete them, press the A key to select the three objects, then press the X key and finally click on Delete. Your scene is now ready to import your asset in FBX format. To import your FBX file, go to the File menu and then to the Import submenu to select the FBX option. A window will appear, allowing you to browse your files and select the FBX you want to import. When you have found it, click on it and then on the FBX Import button. Your object is now in your Blender scene. Now that the object is imported, you need to reset the transform settings. To do so, press the N key to display the transform panel. Three parameters are available in this panel, location, rotation, and scale. When exporting the asset to FBX or when importing it into Blender, some values may change. To optimize the conversion in GLTF, the value of the three axes of rotation must be equal to zero and the value of the three axes of the scale must be 1. To speed up the process, you can select the object directly in the scene. Then, press Ctrl and A keys to bring up the Apply panel. Click on Rotation and Scale, and the object's value will be automatically reset. Some objects can have specific textures so you need to make sure to apply them correctly on the model. The object presented here is a coffee machine and it has three types of textures, a base color, a metallic texture, and a normal. To access the textures panel, click on the material properties tab on the right menu. The name of the object will appear in the text box at the top of the panel. Make sure it is selected so the texture will apply to the right asset. Below, you will find the different values of the textures. We will focus here on the most important ones, the base color, the metallic, and the normal. To preview the textures that will be applied on your object, select the viewport shading view at the top of your screen. Now, you want to change the base color. Then, click on the yellow dot next to the base color tab. Select the image texture option then click on the Open button to retrieve the texture corresponding to the color of the object in your folder. When it is selected, click on the Open Image button. The rendering of the color will be displayed directly on the object. If necessary, do the same for the metallic. The menu being a little more extensive, make sure to select the Image Texture option. Click on the Open button and then select the file corresponding. Finally, for the normal texture, Pull down the menu, then click on the color. Select the Image Texture option, click on the option and associate the texture of the corresponding asset with its normal. Texture rendering in Blender may not exactly match the original object in the viewport shader. However, when exporting to StellarX, it will resume as expected. Now comes the time for exportation. To export the object in GLTF, select the asset. Then, go to the File menu, identify the Export option and select GLTF 2.0. In the Export window, open the folder where you want to export your file. In the Export Format menu, you will first have the choice between GLB and GLTF embedded formats. These two types of formats export the object in a single file which includes the textures. The third format 
create a one file for the 3D model, one file including the model data, and one file per texture. We recommend to choose the GLTF embedded format. Then, in the Include menu, check the selected object box to make sure that you only export the object in GLTF and no other element of the scene. For the rest of the option, everything can remain by default. All you have to do is to name the file and click Export. Your object is now exported in GLTF format. You need to import it into the Stellarex folder to be able to access it in your Stellarex space. To do this, find the Stellarex folder in the document directory on your computer. Once in the Stellarex folder, successively open the Saves, Packs, then External, and finally Import folders. Then, you need to create a new folder with the same name as your object and copy the GLTF file inside. The object is now part of your collection in Stellarex. Now you're in Stellarex, and to find your object, you just have to open your collections and select the imported collection. There, you will find your object with all its properties. All you have to do is place it wherever you like in your space.